Happy New Year, everybody. I wanted to do a wardrobe post this year, but January got away from me a little bit. So we're going to try and do this at the beginning of February instead. The last time I did one was in 2018, and I think my collection has more than doubled since then. I hope you enjoy seeing my mostly classic wardrobe with a little bit of gothic. Let's start with the setup for my closet. I actually have a fairly large closet here, but um, I organize all, most of my accessories on the back of my door, um, including socks, wrist cuffs, some headpieces. Um, the headpieces mostly go up here, and then bows and uh, other things. I keep more fancy hats up on the top here. I have a few in hat boxes. This is actually, like I said, kind of a large wardrobe. It goes back there. And then my coats are on one end. My dresses ordered essentially by color uh, in the middle. And then my blouses are back that way. On the bottom, I have a system for my petticoats and skirts in that green drawer set. That actually works fairly well. I keep a few things inside of this red box. There's a small shelving unit in the back there where that Amazon box is. The Amazon box holds my wigs and then some shoes underneath it, some more accessories above it. And you cannot see it, but next to it, there is a shoe system. So I have a couple little cubbies that contain some of my more fancy shoes. So to start, uh, I'm wearing a Metamorphose piece. This is actually from one of their Lucky Packs back in 2012, I think. It was my first brand piece, which is why I felt like wearing it today. Uh, you can see it featured in my 2018 wardrobe tour if you want to see all of the details. So I thought this being my first ever brand piece would be a great uh, dress to wear for this video today. I've paired it with the Innocent World uh, bolero and an Innocent World blouse as well as an Innocent World bow. I'm also wearing Innocent World OTKs which I can show off here with the uh, corded uh, picture. All right, let's jump into my wardrobe. I'll start with my coats. So my first coat is from Alice and the Pirates. I actually got this secondhand on Loose Market. Uh, it was a very good deal. Um, but this is such a great coat for the winter time. Next is this jacket I got uh, at a swap meet last year. It's an angelic pretty jacket. It's a little bit lighter than the other jacket, but it still is nice and warm. And it's great because I can coordinate it with other pieces in my wardrobe. This I Do Declare dress is one of my favorite pieces. It just looks so elegant. It's got such a full, beautiful skirt. It comes with cape sleeves, you can see here, um, and it just looks so gorgeous. My next piece is from Long Ears and Sharp Ears. I actually have several pieces from them, um, but this is the Kylan and the Red Flame OP. Long Ears and Sharp Ears always does great attention to detail. Now we're gonna start in the green section of my wardrobe. Uh, this might be familiar because I just finished making this for Ursa Major. Um, so it's my first handmade JSK that I'll show. So a pretty simple piece. I actually bought the fabric from Japan back in 2019, I think, and I've been wanting to make a dress from it forever and conveniently happened to make one when there's been a resurgence of plaid in Lolita. So I'm very happy with this dress and can't wait to wear it again soon. This is Innocent World's Charles Crown uh, JSK in green. This is actually my second of the Charles Crown JSKs. I also have it in red, which I'll show in a minute. I fell in love with this print when I first got into Lolita. The green was actually my preferred colorway, but I ended up getting it in red from a friend later from the green and I knew I had to have both of them. I'll pull out the red now, but uh, it actually sits in the red section of my wardrobe. You can see it's a gorgeous burgundy color. I love this print so much, so I'm so glad that I have it in two colorways. Back to green with my next long ears and sharp ears piece. This is the Kingdom of Fairies print uh, in the long OP. This is such a beautiful piece uh, in my wardrobe. 
next is the kind of transition from green to blue in my wardrobe. This is the Mary Magdalene Flor Antoinette OP in Peacock. When I got into Louida, I just loved these kinds of classic pieces. So I was so happy when they re-released this. I think it was 20. 15 or 16 and I was able to purchase it. Next up is a Metamorphose uh, Gobelin French Princess. I think that's what this one's called. It is uh, excessively lacy and Gobelin and I love it so much. Um, actually there's a big bow that's supposed to go here that's uh, somewhere in one of the boxes up there because uh, it also when I bought it at Closet Child in, the, in Japan came with a matching bonnet, head bow, front bow, and a collar detail as well. Love having this piece, especially with the old school revival that we're having. We're now firmly into the blues in my wardrobe with the Atelier Perot um, Luluth JSK. This is a nice simple JSK to have, um, except of course it's got beautiful detail. It's hard for me to show all the way, but it is asymmetric, so the back is fairly long. Um, I've actually used the bows before to pull the back up into kind of a bustle to keep it all one length in the past uh, to style it a different way. This dress is from Pink Up, which is the sister brand to Longer Sharp Ears. It's called Un Montre de Poche. I know I butchered that, but it's essentially the pocket watch. Um, it actually even says that on the waist tie, which I love that detail. This piece fit really well because I loved wearing steampunk Lolita cords for a very long time and I still pull them out every once in a while. So the pocket watch theme for this dress is so perfect. This is another handmade piece. I made this oof, a while ago. I think I say back in my 2018 uh, wardrobe post. I love the print on from this fabric and uh, yeah, I feel like I have a few of these dresses that have a, a different center piece. So that style was inspired me when I made this dress. This is such a great piece and I'm really proud of the work that I did with this one. This is my only Baby the Star Shine Bright like name brand piece, but it is called Antique Rose Garden. Uh, and of course it's a great classic piece. Um, I've been asked if this is Innocent Roll before um, because it's a little unexpected from Baby, I guess, uh, but it's uh, got an all over gray rose print, which is so beautiful. Next the, is the transition to purple with my only Julia et Justine piece, the Paysage JSK with its painting. I feel very lucky to have a Juliet Justine painting print in my wardrobe as well. Um, I do try and collect something from each brand because I feel like every brand has their own kind of unique quality and theme. Uh, so I feel like this is a perfect addition for my wardrobe uh, to represent Juliet at Justine. Next is the Metamorphose uh, Grimoire OP. I absolutely fell in love with this print, but I discovered it after it had been released. Uh, and it took me a while to find the OP version. Uh, it was re-released as a JSK, and I have the black and white JSK version from that re-release, but the OP only came in the first release, and I was in love with how you could see every single book with the OP. Uh, so I needed to get that and I got it in the garnet colorway. So this is the transition from uh, blue purple to red in my wardrobe because it includes both blues and reds. The next one in the wardrobe is actually the Charles Crown in maroon, which I already showed you, but I'll pull out the grimoire in black and white, which sits on this end with the black dresses. So the JSK version features the books as well. Um, and the bust area is nice because you can see the book's a little clear, but with the, you know, gathered waist, I feel like you can't see them quite as nicely as on the OP, but I still love this JSK. Next is an Angelic Pretty piece. I don't get Angelic Pretty very often because uh, not a sweet Lolita, but when it comes as an old school piece like this, this is from 2005. Uh, this is wonderful and I love this. <laughs> uh, this is called the Shoulder Ribbon JSK Velveteen. It's been great for uh, old school coordinates for me, so it's nice to have 
this kind of versatile piece. This is the last handmade piece in my, or handmade JSK that I'm going to show. I have several handmade skirts. I don't actually wear skirts that often. I prefer JSKs or OPs. Uh, so I don't think I'm gonna be showing my skirts at all. Uh, but this was my first handmade JSK and I love this fabric. It's from Joann's, uh, but it worked out really well. I usually add accessories to kind of spice it up a little bit for this JSK. The print is really the main piece and it can work fairly for a fairly casual piece. But yeah, I'm pretty proud of it as my first handmade JSK still. My last red piece is the Elizabeth OP in red from Alice and the Pirates. Uh, this was another one of my dream dresses when it came out uh, and I'm really happy that I was able to secure it later on. Now we're transitioning to my whites and creams in my wardrobe and the transition from red to whites is uh, assisted by the reds that are in this print. This is another long ears and sharp ears piece. It's the Thorn Castle JSK and I fell in love with this JSK. Uh, at first sight, so when they released it, I was so excited. And I actually did one of, I think, my favorite ILD coordinates in this dress by highlighting the red accents in it. This one's a little hard to show, but it is a vest overdress from Sheglet. There's a halter neck here, the vest part in the front. The back has open corset lacing. Essentially, I can wear this piece uh, over other things to give it a little bit of a different feel. Um, and I like that versatility in having these kinds of pieces. This is the Victorian Maiden Lace-Up Doll OP. Uh, a nice, simple, but versatile piece as well. I love all of the uh, details that come on this OP. This dress potentially belongs in the green section of my wardrobe, but it's such a pale, 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 pale green that I keep it in the ivory white section. So this is Innocent World's Rose Watch Fob JSK. Again, with my love of clocks in this JSK. It's been a little while since I've coordinated this dress, so I definitely should bring this back out again. To make the green from that dress fit the this location in my wardrobe a little better, it sits next to this Long Ears and Sharp Ears Museum of Fairy print, which includes some blues and greens in the skirt print, but is most assuredly an ivory dress with the clocks and this kind of Victorian steampunk vibe. Overall, a great print for my wardrobe, of course. Next is Alice and the Pirates Relief OP. This piece is exciting because I got it from EGL Com sales back in the day. Uh, so I've had this in my wardrobe for quite a while and I think it led me down that kind of more classic steampunk inspired path with this gorgeous print. This OP is from Innocent World and it's called Pure Rose Apron. Um, it's a good simple piece. Uh, I got this second hand for very cheap uh, so I like to bring it out every once in a while uh, to style on a, with rounds mainly. The sleeves here are actually detachable so it is an OP either way either short sleeve or long sleeve. I usually wear it with short sleeves, but I added the long sleeves the other day since it's winter time. It's always nice to find kind of a cheap piece that uh, still fits your wardrobe really well. You've probably noticed we've been adding more and more brown as we go along in this ivory set, and this is the kind of most brown piece, I guess, that I own. Um, this is the Victorian Queen JSK from Victorian Maiden. I forget when I first saw the print, but I saw it in a few different dresses that Victorian Maiden had. I fell in love with the crowns and the flowers on this print. Who knew? And uh, I also actually have matching tights with this dress that I got completely separately just because I wanted the print so badly. Uh, so I felt very lucky that I was able to find um, a JSK version with the print in it. This is a more recent uh, purchase for me uh, from Alice and the Pirates. It is the Memory Frame of Royal Crown JSK. Uh, you can tell it's an Alice and the Pirates dress based on the name, uh, but this serves as kind of the transition from browns to blacks in my wardrobe because it's got a little bit of both. So it's a nice piece to add to my wardrobe. Um, I need to wear it a little bit more. I've only worn it like once or twice at this point, 
but I really like the print on this. It's a poly, a really like light polyester material. Uh, so I found that a little bit different from most of the things I have in my wardrobe. Next is Meta's Classic Frame Bustle JSK. I think that's the name. Um, and hey, we have more uh, frames and some of them have crowns in them. So this piece fits very nicely with my wardrobe. Uh, I got this one also in Japan at a closet child but it has the aforementioned bustle in the back. Next is the Night JSK uh, from Kaneko. This JSK has swords on it. I actually also really love sword motifs. Um, I don't get those quite as much in Lolita, but I have several sword necklaces that I like to pair with different outfits. Uh, so this piece, I really just felt like I had to get it. Next is one of the latest additions to my wardrobe, which is the Spooky Shadow JSK from Alice and the Pirates. Uh, when I was at Ursa Major, I saw this uh, print at the Baby in the Starshine Bright store, uh, and I fell in love with it because it was very unique. So you do need a bit of a full petticoat to really get the effect from the front to see kind of peekaboo detail. Uh, and especially with the corset lacing, it holds it down a little bit. So I've only worn this once and I have found it a little tricky to kind of keep it spread out to show off that detail, but I think I might need either a bigger petticoat or a hoop skirt to show that a little bit better. But I still really love uh, the details in this JSK and I'm glad that I was able to get it. So the next dress is the Grimoire OP, or JSK in black and white. That is followed by this Innocent World Pietro Angel JSK. Um, this I got at a swap meet. Someone had gotten it in one of those old Innocent World Lucky Packs that came with all those different JSKs. Uh, and it didn't fit them, but they sold it to me for fairly cheap and I really love the print on this. I think this was the first piece I got that uh, was actually black and so I used this for gothic coordinates for a while before I really got into more uh, gothic pieces. Pretty versatile. I've worn it with like pirate uh, themed coordinates before as well. This is the Innocent World Wavy Ribbon JSK, uh, the aforementioned wavy ribbon being along the hemline. I like this as a more simple piece sometimes. I feel like I tend to go over the top a lot when I do coordinates, but uh, having pieces like this reminds me that I can be more casual as well, or dress it up and be over the top, but you know, whichever works. <laughs> This is a Moi Me Moitié JSK. Um, I think the name is Cross Lace JSK, but I'll have to double check that. Like I said, I've been getting into Gothic a little bit more, so I've been on the hunt for a few of these pieces that can be added to my wardrobe that I can uh, coordinate well in a Gothic manner. And I've always wanted a Moitié piece, so it was really lovely to get this one for my wardrobe. This is the Summer Lady OP from Leaf, um, another uh, gothic leaning dress, but it can also just be pretty classic. It's a sack dress, but it came with a ribbon uh, that can be used to tie it in at the waist uh, to make it look more like a regular Lolita OP. Overall, I've found this to be an extremely comfortable piece to have in my wardrobe, uh, and I was excited to get a, a piece from Leaf as well. This is another very recent addition to my wardrobe. It is the Morpho Crush JSK from Morpho that I got at Ursa Major, and you can see me buying it in my last uh, vlog. It's great being a very short Lolita to have uh, an extremely short dress. It's fun to style this dress uh, in that kind of more punk way. So I'm really happy with this piece. I also uh, got the matching headdress for this piece, which is extremely giant as you can see, uh, but I keep this with the dress uh, for storage. The next one is the Hanuli Full Moon OP dress. Uh, again, love this print. I, I think it's just so stunning especially with the large mesh bishop sleeves. This is another one of those dresses that has an extremely full skirt, so great to wear with a large petticoat. Next is a sweater uh, 
OP from Sweet Mildred and this is a great casual piece. It is so comfy. This sweater material is so, so, so soft and it's got a little hood so it'll keep you cozy. Uh, she added an attachable bow here in the front and I chose, there's, they come in multiple prints. I chose the one with this uh, navy celestial theme. This is just a great OP for the, the last day of the con, for the travel days when you're going in Lolita. That's what I did with it when going to Ursa Major. Um, and I was really happy with this purchase last year. And the last JSK in my current wardrobe is this gingham piece from Metamorphose. Um, I got this from a community member and I've, I've been falling in love with the old school recently so I was really happy to be able to get this piece. And I unfortunately had to wear this dress to the ER because I broke my arm while getting ready in it. Uh, thankfully the buttons in the back mean, meant that I could just slide it off of me without uh, having to have them cut it. <laughs> I was very adamant that they could not cut this dress because it was literally my first time wearing it and it is so gorgeous. So. Um, yay for assuring and button packed pieces when going to the ER. So that is my main wardrobe right now. That's a lot of dresses. Um, I'm actually going to also show you a few pieces that I'm going to be putting up for sale. Um, this isn't to like as an ad or anything, but it's mainly because I wanted to document what I did have in my wardrobe. Um, and I really, I love all of my pieces. I actually very rarely sell things because I get very attached. I have a very full wardrobe at the moment and I wanted to get rid of a few things to feel like I could add more back in. These were much beloved pieces, but they are no longer in my wardrobe. The first one's the Spoon and Fork uh, OP from uh, Verge Vampire. This is such just a fun print. Uh, it has the details on the cuffs here and then the screen printed spoons and forks with the uh, ribbons along the bottom. Next is Alice and the Pirates. Alice and the Mechanical Time Dream Wonder. It's some long ridiculous title like that. It's got clocks and uh, keys and Alice in Wonderland designs. So this is a great steampunk dress for me. I wore this several times in steampunk outfits. I've loved it a lot, but I think I have enough steampunk in my wardrobe. So this one is going as well. Another steampunk dress is the uh, Pink Up Pendulum JSK. It looks like a grandfather clock. It's so lovely, so gorgeous. But again, I haven't been dressing in steampunk Lolita as much. So this one is, saying goodbye to it as well. And finally is this Innocent World Apron JSK. Uh, I forget the name as well, I'll put that here. Um, but you can see it's got the apron in the back and the print is really lovely. I got this one in Japan on sale, uh, but it's a little bit on the sweeter side. I don't wear it as often, so this one will be going as well. Look what has arrived just in time to make the wardrobe video. The Verge Vampire Crown Apron JSK. The crown screen print is so pretty. I fell in love with it when I saw it and I wasn't feeling this uh, mealtime OP anymore. And then I saw this and I felt like I just needed to replace it. This apron is so precious. I am excited to wear this soon. Yay. Wow, I'm not sure how long this video is, but that was a lot. Uh, I didn't count as I was going through, but I have this many dresses in my wardrobe. I didn't show off my skirts. I'm not gonna show off my blouses or accessories right now because this has already taken a, a while. Um, but I'm really glad that I got to document my 2024 wardrobe. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed this. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and let me know which dress is your favorite from my wardrobe. In editing, I realized that I misplaced the final clip that I had filmed where I wrapped everything up. Since I have to record this anyway, I thought I'd give a little bit of context. I filmed this video for about two hours and I did show kind of detailed shots uh, of all of the dresses, but I did it a little bit awkwardly and I wasn't happy with the filming. I also would have had a 
over an hour long video if I had kept all those clips in. So this is a shortened version of what I actually filmed, but I still think I was able to show off every dress in my wardrobe. So I hope you did enjoy this. Maybe in the future I'll try and actually film uh, a version where there's detailed shots of the dresses as well. If you made it here to the end, then please consider giving a like and subscribing, uh, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.